well, the language is a key that connects us uh, to that because uh, everything about our language uh, has a direct connection to our overall well-being uh, with nature. Um, the very fact that uh, when you're when there's sense of belonging, then we're also we're addressing mental health, physical health, emotional health, spiritual health. Uh, so when we talk about our connection to nature and our response to climate change, and when you when you hear terms like indigenous people have a different relationship with the land, it's because it's it's that uh, it's the language, it's the gift, and our access to that relationship. And so when um, when we're speaking. Uh, I would not respond to a must be birch. It's not, it's in response to my kin. So must be is my kin and it's not separate. I'm not separate. It's about caring for each other and um, uh, how we feel is how the environment we're going to create. If we're not accepting ourselves, and this is our health. This is our connection to those bits and pieces that I shared with you, like my relationship to Musqui, Gaskusi, uh, you know, um, Guo. It, uh, that's my grandmother. When I say uh, Guo, uh, I'm relating, I'm responding to her as my grandmother. So it's that kind of an affection and that kind of a relationship. Um, and um, we are all family and we have to trust that we all love each other, that they love us and they're continually teaching us.